the super duper, 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 hey guys, I just wanted to quickly go through my uh, latest build that I've done here on a giant OCR compact road bike um, this is from 1992 actually I brought the frame um, from eBay for 50 quid it's an aluminium frame nice fin tubing on there as well very lightweight I believe the frame was 1.75 kg um, and I've made it into a sort of one by setup hybrid bike slash gravel bike. You can say it's a gravel bike. Any bike can be a gravel bike, but you know, you just got to get the tire clearance. <laughs> you know, that's, that's initially it. Uh, this frame I've had for about two years. I haven't done anything with it at all until, um, you know, a couple of months ago when I started to build it up and uh, it's come together quite nicely. Um, there was a big problem I had. I wanted to incorporate some aluminium forks on this bike um, that I got from eBay, but the fork steerer was too short, which is a, a problem a lot of people have when building these these types of bikes, especially uh, with these with these old style one inch steerer tube bikes. So I had to um, cut off a section off another bike. Uh, so I took an inch. Off another bike fork um, and then put it on top and then added a compression or a expander nut to this um, to, to hold it together now I'm yet to see the results of how this would work but it does seem to have bound together quite nicely in, in this in the threadless world um, and then uh, it's a one by setup as well, also to save weight. So this is a uh, BB60 bottom bracket. Um, this has got an IXF crank with a 34 teeth um, chain ring, KMC chain, and uh, Shimano Hyperglide cassette with Shimano Acer gears on here. So it's not. The most expensive build um it's it hasn't got the the greatest components on there but for what i use it for and what the person that i built it for will use it for um it'll be suffice enough as the bike frame is so light um and that's it really um the tires are some continental grand prix um 28 millimeter at the back and 25 millimeter at the front reason being um, is because the fork at the front only would accommodate a 25 mil max tire super lightweight great up the hills um, and it didn't cost more than 150 quid to build recommended to anyone if you're looking for a cheap bike get a frame learn how to build it, learn how to put the parts together, learn how to put a wheel on, learn how to build a headset, and you'll be plain sailing. You'll be saving a lot of money as well. I see people spending thousands of pounds to, in Halfords and then spending even more money upgrading the parts that they have on them. So uh, that's a, a, a word of warning to all those who are new starting with with their cycling okay if you like this video if you have any comments like and subscribe the super duper 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 the super duper